Please introduce yourself and tell me where we are today. Yeah, I'm Tom Ward. Uh, we're in the Swannanoa Mountains um, with a view of the Blue Ridge Parkway and Craggy Mountains from here, but sitting on a cabin my great-grandpa built 95 years ago. Property's been in our family ever since, and I guess about 15 years ago, you know, started getting worried about all the development pressure up here because we got some really, you know, some of the few parts of the Swannanoa Mountains that have some high level areas, you know, that could be developed. And, you know, I just don't know if our family could ever live with seeing this beautiful property developed and lo losing all the value of it. So I got, got with y'all about 15 or 20 years ago and you worked with us to, in Buncombe County to get a conservation easement. I'm really interested in the health of our whole property. I, you know, I got a master's degree in biology. I've been coming up here, you know, enjoying the natural value of this land since I was a baby. North Carolina being the center of biodiversity for salamanders, um, you know, make, is a great place to study salamanders, but amphibians, you know, are very sensitive to environmental changes. So it's a good indicator species for the health of the mountain. But it was really this summer, um, been kind of stuck up here with the coronavirus and um, started going and hiking up the mountain at night. And that's when I really um, started taking all these pictures because you go out at night and they're just everywhere. I was like, you know, they're, they're nocturnal critters, so um, at night is a time that you can just find them and they're out posing in their natural habitat. So yeah, we have uh, 10 species of salamander that I've documented so far on our property. Um, I guess starting in the creek, you know, probably the one, the most aquatic one you hardly ever see out of the creek is the black-bellied salamander, um, Desiminathus quadrimaculatus. And then um, also in the creek is the seal salamanders, uh, Desiminathus monocola. But they went on a wet night, they kind of come out and you see them everywhere. And then kind of getting a little further kind of in the creek and getting a little out of the creek is the um, dusky, Carolina mountain dusky salamander. Then we got the newts down in our pond is full of, um, you know, the aquatic stage of the eastern newts. But we get the red Fs are out all over the place, especially after a good rain. We get the spring salamanders, they'll be in the creeks and, you know, they see them out of the creeks on a good wet night. I guess we got three species of plethodon. We got the plethodon amplis, um, which is the Blue Ridge gray-cheeked, which is kind of just in this local area, Buncombe County and the south, yeah, I think three counties, you know, the South Mountain area. Um, then we got the slimy salamanders. Um, Plethodon cylindrosius, which is it's pretty ubiquitous. I find it, you know, pretty you know not in the creek, but pretty much all in the upland parts of the mountain. And then the Yanalasi salamander, which are the really pretty ones with the kind of brick red backs. You find them mostly more in the boulder fields and um, in the rock outcroppings. Oh yeah, the Blue Ridge two-line salamanders, the um, Eurycia, actually that's Eurycia wilderi. It kind of gets out during the summer and stuff, it's all out in the mountain and you don't see it that much, but around October it comes back to the creeks to breathe. The, the last one I believe is the Pseudotriton ruber, the red salamander, which I've only found a couple times. I think, you know, it's yeah, you know, might be more in muddier areas than we have around here, but I've seen it on our property too. That's fantastic, Tom. Thank you so much for